Hi everyone, welcome back. Oh, I'm back. <laughs> this is a video where I'm going to get a bit personal about the roots of Aduke Africa and also my life, how it's linked to my life and why and how I felt disconnected to my country of origin during years growing up in Europe. So this story is quite not easy to tell. I might did get a bit emotional but it needs to be out there people need to know they are not alone and you don't have to feel guilty for feeling that way and it's not the end you have space to grow and evolve and grow your mindset to where you want to be and you have to take time to digest everything that happened to you and everybody has his own rhythm so you need to go at your own pace so let's get to it why I felt disconnected from Benin, my country of origin, for so long growing up in Europe is because of the situation and the contest which led me to leaving Benin in the first place. So, growing up, I was born in Benin and growing up, my dad was working in London and I was living in Benin with my mom. So what happened? is my mom died when I was seven, a month after my birthday almost. And um, that's why I left with my sister Benin to Nigeria and then London <laughs> and grew up in London and then in Paris. So this is quite a traumatic experience for me. And um, that's the reason why I grew up associating Benin with that trauma. The fact that we never really talk about it. I never really take time to digest it. It was just something happened and I just put it aside. And I associate Benin with a lot of uh, suffering, a lot of uh, guilt because that's where my mom died. So this was the trauma. That was what Benin represented to me as a country. There was nothing to do there. There was like just a country where my mom died. Why should I go there? This is... This is what I'm trying to run away from. So, so I think I'm not alone in that uh, feeling. That's why when I was growing up, I didn't want to know about Benin. I didn't want to visit. My dad often, often goes there for, to handle his business and everything, but I didn't feel the need to go because I didn't know what Benin has brought me except the death of my mother. So that's the way my brain used to work growing up until I hit uh, 20, I never, never thought that I would go to Benin. So my dad organized a trip to Benin with my sister and um, we went, uh, we went on a very like quite difficult journey. We have to talk about a lot of things that we haven't talked about in years. And that's where my healing journey started. And that's where I try to digest my, my trauma and my mindset start changing a bit. And um, I view Benin in a different way. This wasn't even a family trip to say, hey, this girl is still living. <laughs> the mother maybe had died, but they are doing good. Yes, I'm doing great. And um, I felt a lot of things in that, in that trip. And um, that was the starting point of me connecting back with my country of origin and starting to associate it less with my mother dead and starting to change my mindset. So let's be real, a lot of us didn't leave Africa willingly. We, a lot of us may have left because of war, politics situation, family issue or something else. And we associate that country with the trauma and the, and the, the, the hurt that we feel. And because of that, we don't want to go back and visit and learn more about this country. But we have to take time to take a step back, be able to reflect, heal, and ask for help you needed, and then be able to explore. But everybody has his own space and it's his own pace to and his own journey to go through. So this is my story. And uh, this is the story to remind you that it's never too late. Take your time to digest what you have to digest, to heal to take a step back, analyze the situation and move forward. It's not easy. It has taken me time after the first trip. I, <laughs> it also almost took me like five years to go back by myself after the first trip. So 
take your time there's no rush and you can do this so i hope this video will encourage you to go on your own journey find peace in it and be able to go beyond the hurt go beyond the trauma and explore the wonder of your country of origin so this is my story but we need to know also how this mindset should happen i have not always been advocate for africa i always let my life grew up in europe with african culture and everything but i never felt the need to know more about it and never felt the need to dig more but the mindset shift happened for my first trip when i started feeling for my trauma when i came back i started getting more interested in everything because the first trip when i did with my dad in 2013 I was 20 feeling from trauma and everything and also he that said something in me like okay this is the starting point i need to know more about this country maybe that will help me connect more to my mother in my own way and that would be my own healing journey because that's what i choose and i promised myself to come back to explore more about myself my family history very rich history of uh, the descendant of all your kingdom in Benin and learning a lot about who I am and whose I am, if I may say. So the family trip was great. It was very overwhelming. Overwhelming is maybe an understatement, but it was a great starting point. But we, I did have a chance to explore, like I love exploring every country. So I promised myself to come back and to get, to learn more, to educate myself on my country and to go to more things related to Africa, to go to exhibition, to build myself up. I haven't been always advocate about Africa and there was a lot of learning to do. And the fact that I grew up in Europe, not seeing myself representing everywhere. And I love going to exhibition museum, every castle in Europe, in Paris, like I have done everything. And I love describing, exploring culture and history. So I made a promise to myself to start discovering my own history. It wasn't easy. I had to learn a lot. I pick books. I ask questions. I do my research. And that's how slowly I grew up my knowledge. And I start learning more about my continent and my country of origin, history. So that's how the mindset should happen. From ignoring who I am because of trauma, or I was not already ignoring who I am, but ignoring my origin, my roots because of trauma. So healing from trauma, get into a process. I don't think you heal fully, but you are in a process of healing, doing better. And then moving forward, going beyond the suffering, going beyond the hurt to discover a beautiful country. So that's how the mind shift shit happen. And that's how I organized like in 2020 2018 i organized my first solo trip back to africa to benin by myself it was not easy i had quite some discussion with my dad he was not very approval of that because of the fear that he had me be my by myself there like i don't i i can go anywhere in the world but i don't care i went to like thailand he doesn't care about back to benin he has some some worries <laughs> because i didn't grow up there i didn't really know and i didn't really know the co the, the way people act I had to pay attention to this and this you know paris and i don't think he's wrong i think he's right he he's in his right because i'm not used to that environment so it took me like five years after my first trip to go back by myself and i started really small exploring just cotonou and I was, I make it very, a very, very great point to spend a lot of time with my grandmother. She was my main motivation. She's the only grandparent that I had left and I didn't grow up by her side. So I was like, I need to go and see her. Like something had happened to her. She's still doing good. I was rebuilding with her last, last February, but I was like, I need to know more. So that's how the mind shift set, the mindset shift happened. It took five years to get to, okay, I feel ready to do this and that's okay you can take your time and i have never and in 20 years i was not really like let's go to africa until i hit 20 
And even after my first sleep, it took me five years to go back. So it's a journey. You have your own journey. You have your own pace. As long as you are doing what you need to do step by step at your own space to get the answer, to analyze yourself and to know why you're not, you're feeling that way. That's the, that's the least you can do. So you will take time to go back if you have a traumatic situation like me, but it's never too late and you can take your time to learn and grow. So that was the message about the mindset shift. So yes, big, 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 big secret. I have not always been advocate for going back to your origin country. I was like, hell no, what am I going to do there? But things happen, we grow, we change, that's life. We learn, we do better. The lesson that I have learned from my own journey, my own journey connecting back to my country of origin. So first lesson is it is okay to not know just be open to learn second lesson trauma is real take your time to digest and make peace with it yep take your time third lesson it is never too late my friend it is never too late to do anything in life never and everybody has its own rhythm do not compare yourself embrace your own lane that was unique and magical about you and also, great things take time. I was like, I'm not going back to Africa. Today, I'm building a brand around Africa. So great things take time. And also, if you weren't interested in Africa because of your parents or because of trauma, know that parents are also human beings. They are not invisible. They are not unbreakable. They have been through also things. And... You have to take time to talk with them and forgive them. And it is okay to ask help in to ask for help in any form and shape. You don't have to go by life, by through this life and through everything by yourself. You have friends that can help you. You can go to a therapist, you can take time to talk with your parent, you can do whatever you need to be done to feel better. And for last. Bounding with your country of origin can be done in your own way. There's no one way to do it. Me, I'm doing it through travel, through tourists, because this is my passion. And this is the way I feel alive. It's also one of my coping systems. This is my way. But you can do it in your own way. You can advocate for something. You can be an activist. You can impact in your own way. You can build a business. You can help people. You can do whatever you can do at your own scale, in your own term. And you have to find your way. So I love history, I love culture, I love travel. So this is why I create Educate Africa. And this is why we are here. This is my way of connecting back to my country on my own terms. I hope you will find your way and I hope this will inspire you to search and find it. So have an amazing day. Take care. Bisous, bisous.